Hello, welcome to my channel. Um, this time I want to show you how you can optimize your Hot Watch Legacy game um, and few of the things I did to make it run properly. Um, so let me go ahead and launch the game. And maybe before that I can show you a few of the tools I use. So I use Riva Toner first to cap my F FPS here for the game. And I use the NVIDIA Profiling Inspector. Inspector. All I did was here activate the. Um, let me see. First for hot wires. I activate this option here. Revar enabled. And then just set the option to the one ending on 01. And here the one that has a 4 on it. The size limit and yeah here and this one the one that has the four on it and then apply the changes and that's it you can close this already and this option i have to do again if i want to re-enable it after there is a software update i mean driver update this will set be set to default which is uh, off here by default is uh, disabled so yeah just keep that in mind uh, this software you can download from github i will um, put the link in the description and riva turner is just part of msi after burner i just use it to monitor my fps and things like that but in this case all i did is just add the game here i went to the library of the game and at the executable i open it and set the frame limit to 100. There are other ways to limit the frame rate, not only Riva, but this is the one that gives the best result for what I have seen so far. And oh, I was reading on the blogs and watching a lot of other people videos, and they all agree like the Riva Turner way to f limit the FPS are the ones that are working best. So let's see how is the game settings. Also, uh, I'm using this uh, setting here, the DLSS4. Yeah, that's the last thing. Yeah. If you have a NVIDIA graphic card, I mean, you can use the DLSS4 because it's giving better quality, which actually was the one of the things that allowed me to do this um, this uh, performance uh, fixed. Yeah. Right, let's wait. Okay, so here we are inside the game. I am at the hot make town because it's like the worst case scenario for me. And the, f the frame limit with the Riva Turner is turned off. Let me just open it right quick. Uh, here. So you see, I just turn it off. Because here I want to show you just how the game performs without any anything. Uh, yeah, right now I'm using the just um, this two, this option I um, activated, which is the rebar, and that's it, nothing else. And for the game, normally these are the settings I would like to use in any game, including this one. It's just DLSS quality. Frame game times two. There is not more than that for the 40 series. The ray reconstruction, uh, ray tracing, and everything on ultra, plus the ray tracing options on ultra too. So normally this is how I would play the game, but the problem is like playing like this is a mess. And actually, you see how the GPU is not using like 100% or 99%. It's like a 80. 83, 84, and I'm only getting 70 SPF, let's see, 78, 76, and if I would go and just run around the city, I don't know if you can see it, but it's like lagging so much, it's a hell, a mess of lag, I don't know how to explain this, no, 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 <laughs> And the frame time, don't look at it now because actually with frame gem is like the um, 
MSI is MSI of the border is not is not um, very good at measuring it. I don't know. It's not working properly with the frame gen. So I said, let's see then and go ahead and try to fix this, right? So I use the river turner to cap the frame rate and let's say like 60, right? Because I'm getting around that 70, 80, 60. And now here the problem is the following. You see, it's actually being fixed because the frame time now is normal and I shouldn't have more starter anymore, like no more lag in theory. Now the problem here is the following. I'm using uh, the frame generation to hit that target. So the less the less FPS I get now with all of this activated including frame gen, the more latency I will have. Right now the latency jumped to 40, 39, 37. You can see it right in the corner. And I think that's, uh, it's not bad, it's not so bad, but actually for my taste, I mean, I would rather keep it on under 30. And right now it's 30, 40, no, it's too much. So what I would do is just, instead of picking the worst case scenario, just, I know when I'm in Hogsmeade, then I will have problems with the stutterings, but I think not that much. And what I would do is just, if I go outside the Hogsmeade town, you will see that actually, if I remove the cap, let's see, I just keep closing it. If I remove the cap and go back, now I'm getting 90, 90 FPS. Let's see, let's keep going outside here. Uh, all right, 80, yeah, still it's not as much. So what I would do is just try to get less performance hit and down to performance. Now with the DLSS 4, I think it should look fine even on performance. Okay, now we're getting 100, 105, 104. Perfect, so what I would do now is to cap my frames to 100. That means with frame gem, I'm getting to 100 plus. Meaning, actually this cap is not obstructing the frame gen as much that means my latency is not gonna be so bad so if you see my latency now is 27 22 24 22 20 20 so it's fine it's it's okay and if you see my frame time is normalized it's a mostly a flat line mm, yeah not perfect, but at least I don't feel it like when I'm playing. If, if I sh if I didn't have the graph there, I wouldn't notice as much that anything changed or is lagging or the bad performance. Okay, let's see. Yeah, and the game is looking great with all, all the ray tracing, all the options up, the ultra ultra graphics. Now I'm dipping a little bit below 100, but it's not so bad. Still it's not so bad in the frame time. It's not looking as bad as before. So you could go ahead and try this for yourself, just, I mean, I don't know if the rebar is going to help you, but I read in many blogs and many comments and many videos that it does. So that's why I activate this option, but I'm not so sure that actually it's going to help you or not. 
but what does help you would be the this cap this rain cap so if you're having this problem with this game I would suggest just to try and see what is the performance you're getting with the graphics you want and just go ahead and cap your frame right to that and see how it goes like here maybe I should try to cap it to 90 instead of 100 I don't know but for, one, for 100 for me is working correctly and actually I wanted to get the most out of it because my monitor is uh, 144 FP, um, hertz so yeah you see the flat line it's perfect so I think that's pretty much it I just wanted to give you a quick overlook over this guide how to how I did it to um, get a better performance in this game it's not working perfectly but at least it's playable now I hope this video has helped you and we will see each other in the next one bye bye